Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video I'm going to be looking at an issue I had with emulation station and it stopping working and how to actually fix this. Now it won't be the same for everyone but hopefully if I can help a few people out there then it might make a difference. Um, without further ado, let's have a look at the details. Okay, so maybe about a month or two ago, there was an update on the Steam Deck um, that pro totally kicked out Emulation Station for me and it would not work. Now, we could get into Emulation Station absolutely fine. Now, this is obviously to play all your um, other sort of titles, arcade games, all this sort of stuff, Commodore 64, pretty much everything and anything. And it's a great um, device to actually use for emulation and all your other sort of games and different systems. Um, and I've found this to be one of the my most favourite device to use for that but unfortunately it did uh, stop working on one of the latest updates about a month or two ago but I've never had time to actually fix it and it was really frustrating for me now what happened was if I chose a game any game didn't matter really what one it was um, I would try to start it and then it would just kick back to this screen all over again and I tried a few different things like updates um, I went into the emulation station again reinstalled it all that type of thing and it did not matter so I wasn't sure exactly what the issue was um, however if you go into RetroArch as well and I discovered that RetroArch wasn't loading either so it kind of got me thinking that perhaps it was actually an issue with RetroArch rather than Emulation Station. Um, so I'm not really entirely sure. Now obviously I tried to start that and this would just kick back to the main screen again. Now it's working fine. But at the main, uh, obviously after the update it was really just going back to the main screen. It wouldn't even launch RetroArch at all. So what I'm going to do is show you what I did to actually get Emulation Station working again so I could play all my emulated titles. Um, so what you do is go down to power and you switch to the desktop mode and it's probably a lot more straightforward than I thought it would have been and it's a little bit annoying that it actually got kicked out because of this and it's to do with this here, you can see the, the uh, prompt here, it's about updates now you need to make sure that all your updates are completed so let's have a look at it I didn't think this would be such a basic thing to stop it from working but it definitely did so if you look down the bottom here, you've got updates available. If you just double click that, now you might not um, have that at the bottom there, but if it's stopping from working, um, it most likely will be there. Um, but you can find it through other, other ways, through your uh, Explorer or Software Center, you can find the updates in there. Um, but if you've got um, sort of things to get updated, it will appear here. Um, and I had a, a good pile of things to get updated um, and one of the reasons why I didn't actually update any of the things because I tried to update all and I got a few issues by doing that I get it threw up a few things and it wouldn't update everything so I kind of just ignored it and just um, dismissed that as the reason so I'd rather than trying to update all maybe the best thing to do is just update a few things at once maybe um, update one or two things at the one time untick a few things that type of thing if you've got loads, but I guess there's only a few things here, it should be okay to update um, all of them at the same time, but anyway, I had about maybe 50 things to update, I hadn't been keeping top of it, um, and then it, it seemed to stop RetroArt from running, and it stopped Emulation Station from running after one of the most recent updates, so a little bit annoying, really irritating, don't know why it was stopping it from working, but it was stopping it from working, so you can close that down, Okay, so if you want to find the updates manually, just go down to the Discover Software Center um, and you should find the option down the bottom. If you put down here, the updates are usually round about here. And obviously I've just done all the updates, so all your updates available will appear here. Um, and it's important, try and keep this up to date, because for some reason it does stop uh, RetroArch from working. Maybe there's important updates that need to be uh, included in RetroArch to make it run properly, which then stopped Emulation Station from working properly as well. Um, I went through loads of options, I even went into the Emudeck um, thing here and done reinstall, um, which is obviously down the bottom here. Obviously I went into here, tried to do a uh, lots of refreshes, updates, all sorts of things and it didn't make a difference and it was just simply down to software updates and it then um, kicked it back in and I could then play games through RetroArt or even better still through Emulation Station. And back to Emulation Station you can then launch your games um, as you did before. 
Now some um, systems did work okay, I guess these use standalone engines rather than RetroArch for instance. Xbox One worked fine because that's a standalone um, system that it uses. I think the other one that I had uh, that worked fine was PlayStation Portable because that uses its sort of own app to launch the games rather than RetroArch. So if it's using RetroArch it probably stopped working and I really couldn't figure out why. It made no sense to me. I hadn't changed anything. All that happened was an update to the Steam Deck and it stopped things from working which was really, really frustrating. But after these updates I updated everything, it started to launch the games and everything was fine. So then that meant I could basically play my own games again um, or any demos or stuff that I've bought recently um, on these emulators. It's really quite annoying that it didn't work. It was kind of frustrating. Okay guys, so this helped me after the latest Steam Deck update. It's not going to help everyone. You might have a very different issue. But if I can help a few people out there, then that would make my day, no doubt about it. But anyway guys, thanks very much for watching the video. I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.